Great to Anne, exactly. And maybe that's why they're they're keeping so much of it under wraps. They're being very tight lipped. And we know that there is a gag order on this one as well. So just want to remind everyone at home of that. Uh, Matt Johnson, our crime and justice reporter who's been out there for much of this trial, has been trying to talk to different witnesses and you know, it, it seems like, you know, perhaps they would if they weren't under under that gag order. And so we're hoping uh, the family of Kristen Smart will talk with us. Um, Josh Ritter, you know, tell me, um, you know, you practice law in the state of California. You have for a long, long time. Um, this one here, it, it's it's tricky for a lot of reasons, as you know. Sue Ann pointed out the fact that there's no body. And I'm curious what you think about how that fact relates to Ruben Flores's case. Um, because here we know it's the less serious of the two cases. He's just being charged in connection with the, the, the cover-up that the state is saying occurred. And if the body hasn't been found, which it hasn't, um, do you think that's something that, that really might get this jury hung up uh, when it comes time to deliberate? It's obviously the biggest problem in the case. I mean, it, you know, as Sue Ann pointed out, it's 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 a it's a, a a case almost lacking entirely in forensic evidence. We have some evidence in the fact that they they are able to test for uh, blood or what they believe to be blood, uh, both under the Flores home and on the the mattress found in the dorm. But there isn't like DNA or fingerprint or hair fibers or something that absolutely links these together. Um, so they're going to have to build this case. You know, it's going to have to be a death by a thousand cuts, and that's why I think it becomes problematic for them that they we are having all these stops and starts in the trial because they want to be kind of building this momentum and this rhythm, and they're not able to do that with all these delays. But to answer your question more directly, I think if the son goes down, the father goes down as well. I think that if they are able to link this murder to Paul Flores, then then his father is going to go down as well. I, I think that the connection between the two of them and, and any kind of cover-up is a little more clearly established. It's the murder that they're going to have trouble with because of the fact that we, what we've been talking about, that we don't have a body. I appreciate it so much. Josh Ritter, Sue Ann Robinson, thank you both uh, for your thoughts weighing in. Great points you're making. Uh, we're going to stand by as testimony will get underway uh, in just a few short hours from now. Of course, that case taking place on the West Coast. Uh, we're here in the East at headquarters. Uh, coming up next, Scott Peterson. You know the name. He's the guy convicted of murdering his wife and his unborn son. Well, he could be getting a new trial. Detail.